Hi, this is Bird from Bird's SVGs and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to put together your filigree ornament which is the latest freebie from Bird's SVGs. So you'll need the cut file and you will need some decorative thread and two brads, I use small brads, per ornament. Okay, so first of all we're going to start shaping our pieces. So we're just going to be adding a curve. I'm doing this with my hands but you could, uh, you could wrap the pieces around uh, a pen or you know something cylindrical if you'd rather I think this is probably how I end up getting so many paper cuts so you know you can always wrap them around something instead and then we're going to move on to our ornament pieces and they need curving as well it's a little bit fiddly trying to uh, do it uh, with the filigree pieces so just wrap them around um, I haven't wrapped them around anything in particular I'm just rolling them here and then I'll roll it between my hands and get them used to being in that curved position. And this is quite important um, for your ornament to take shape. OK, so we're going to be um, putting our ornament together kind of upside down. So first of all, we're going to get hold of one of our brads. And then we're going to wrap our decorative, decorative thread around the prongs of our brad. I'm just wrapping it around a couple of times. I didn't need to add a knot or anything. It, I found that they held perfectly well. Then pop your prongs of your brad through the middle of the bow. Then one by one, pop on the ends of the bow. Next, add your bow tail. And then that's your bow there upside down. And then we want to pop the prongs of our brad through all of the the top holes of our bauble. Now what we're doing here is we're opening the prongs about halfway. So this is my tip to putting these together. And we're going to get our own other brad, pop it through all of the holes in the bottom part of our ornament and again open the prongs halfway and I'll see if I can show you what that looks like. Now they're open enough so the brad doesn't fall out but it allows um, the pieces of your bauble to have enough room to kind of swivel um, and to be able to move them into place. So one by one, I'm going to take each part of my bauble, or ornament you may call it, and I'm just going to tease it round to form the circle. Now, once I've done that, I can actually get my hands inside and pinch the brad open. This is an optional step because it will actually hold as it is. But I'm just getting my hands in there and opening the brad up fully. So it's holding everything nice and securely. And then, like I say, that will actually hold your decorative thread on the top. So you don't even need to um, tie any knots if you don't wish to. So I'm just making sure that all of my sides are even. And then I'm going to tie a knot in the top of my thread. And then I'll trim that off on my scissors. And then if you want your bauble to be a little bit more spherical, what you, you'll see me doing in a minute is I actually just push down onto my desk a little bit and bounce it and that just makes it a little bit more spherical and that's it it's finished so the only real thing that I need you to kind of get from this video is to open your brads halfway and then that will enable you to form your your ornaments nice and easily and I hope that um, you enjoy um, using and displaying your ornaments this Christmas <laughs> 